Hey, how's it going everyone? Daikin here. The beta for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus just ended, so I wanted to make this video letting you all know my initial impressions post beta. What I liked, what I didn't like, and what characters seemed pretty strong. So sit back, because we're about to dive deep into the world of Grand Blue. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to get everything Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. First off, this game isn't like your typical anime fighter. It's more of a slow paced, grounded, footsie game similar to like King of Fighters or Street Fighter. It's incredibly easy just to pick up and play. Combos are simple, fun, and damaging. Speaking of the damage, I feel as if the damage for the most part is in a good spot. Maybe just a slight tweak to some confirmed scalings from a few characters, but that's all I would say. Overall, a high damage, slow paced fighter doesn't seem too bad. This allows for some amazing high climax of the battles, as if the developers are going for a slow pace with climax finishes. Now the speed of the game also feels okay. I know a lot of people are concerned, and I agree the walk speeds could be slightly faster, but overall, I like the direction the game is going. Now there is a concern with the recovery on dash stopping, and I can definitely see the issue there, as you are completely vulnerable to running into attacks from your opponents as your character is halting their dashes. This makes characters with bigger normals like Fairy and Catalina much harder to deal with with characters like Lancelot or Charlotte who have stubbier normals. The grab range in the game is also pretty short, however it's complemented well by the advancing overhead mechanic which leading to baiting like your opponents for good damage. Chip damage is very much prevalent in the game. However, the gap between how much chip potential each character has is very obvious and may need a slight adjustment. And lastly, before we move on to character strengths, is the netcode. Now I understand the beta was meant to test out the lobby system, so I can't fault Arxis for the Cavs having connection issues. However, when you do get into a match, it feels very smooth. All my connections for the most part were between like 1 to 2 frames. Usually with Dragon Ball like fighters, however, I was hovering around 2 to 3 frames. So it may be the same netcode, but for some reason it just felt better, so I got nothing to complain about there. And now for the moment I know you guys have been waiting for, the characters. For the most part, I played Lancelot, but I did play every character for a bit to get an understanding of their tool sets before I grinded against them. So first off, we're going to talk about Gran. Gran I initially thought was pretty boring, but overall he definitely grew on me. With some of the most satisfying light confirms I've ever done, his 5D was a fun to sneak in charge from full screen or the pressure cancel with it once you got it to max because your opponent was basically fearful of the invincible attack that comes from it. Um, he also had very good fireball, solid normals, and overall I just thought he was pretty solid. He just basically grew on me. I thought, like I said, I thought he was pretty boring at first, but he's just a solid Shoto character and it definitely proves it. Um, a lot of fun wall bounce combos you can do with him and uh, a fun DP to mess around with as well. So overall I think Graham's pretty solid and definitely has the tool sets to be a force to reckon with. So next up is Catalina. Catalina felt absolutely amazing from the start. Great buttons, solid damage, amazing jump D, and a really fun guard point to use. I really like the fact that she can dash cancel or back dash cancel for her guard point before it comes out or, or after the attack comes out. Her neutral game is very nice to deal with in the right hands. Like I said, she has great buttons. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game uh, that the developers did um, is the interactions with her normals. Her normals can be traversed under with the right character's tools and spacing, which makes for some like unique hype read situations. For example, Lancelot can go under it with his 2D, and Fairy can go under her, uh, like, I'm talking about her 5M, by the way. Her 5M can be swept under with Lancelot's 2D or even her Fireball. Same thing can happen with Fairy's 2B with her Fireball and 5M as well. So I think that just makes for some unique hype situations with the character. So following Catalina is Charlotta. The game's charge character, but don't let the charges scare you because this character's charge times are pretty short. She felt like a straight up mix up powerhouse with possibly the best jumping light in the entire game at the moment. She seems to be pretty safe on a lot of her special moves and also has one of the best chip damage and supers in the game at the moment as well. Uh, like I said, she's pretty safe on a lot of her specials. It's really cool. Like the spin one, uh, the other one where she does a bunch of slashes, I've seen people like she can do an attack out there, it may be plus, I have no idea. It was very hard to stop. Uh, she seems like a mix of like Akuma or like E Honda from Street Fighter to say the least. Um, so Charlotte has stubby normals, but don't let the noble little Harvin get in or you will feel the world of pain. Up next, we're going to be talking about Fairy. There's a lot to be said about Fairy, as most would agree she felt the strongest and most complete out of the playable cast so far. Amazing range with multiple movement options such as her dive and web swing. Two amazing supers compared to everyone else's single skybound art. Fairy was proving her spot as a tough contender to compete against. 
However, the good people of Arxis thought this game through and applied hurt boxes to her whip and even Catalina's sword for access to easy wolf punishes to make them more manageable to fight. Fairy also has amazing chip damage potential and some of the best pressure to boot with great use of her install super. Being one of the more technical characters made her fun to use for people who wanted a little bit more in a character's tool set. And lastly, the captain of the White Dragon Knights himself, Lancelot. One of my favorite characters in and out of the actual gacha game, while I think he felt the weakest out of the bunch, he was in no shape or form outclassed and was quite scary in the right hands. What he lacked in damage, as far as reaching normals, he made up definitely with his fast speed, great staggers, lockdown and shimmy game, he had tricky movement, including like a wall jump off the wall, and he had all sorts of mix-up mix up options. The biggest weakness I felt he had, however, compared to the rest of the cast, was his inability to maintain the corner position after he did a combo extension in the corner, unless the opponent's back was to the wall, like completely to the, uh, against the wall. This was due to a 6-6-H extension crossing to the other side, so if he did it and you were like slightly out of the corner, he will cross up and he will lose the corner advantage. However, as I stated before, everyone just felt good, and overall the balancing of the game just felt stable. No one was underwhelming, and even with character weaknesses in some areas, with the right plays utilizing the mechanics, everyone feels to be a contender to come out on top when battling against each other. Overall, I feel the game is in a great spot, with some small adjustments to the system, and this game will be amazing to play and watch from time and time again. With its beautiful stunning graphics, popular IP, and the minds of Arxis, I'm sure this game will be nothing short of amazing upon release. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. If you liked anything I had to say, drop me a like. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, if you want to hear more from me, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And follow me on my socials. Also, let me know in the comments below who's your favorite character and thing about the beta. And lastly, the survey for the beta is still up. So if you haven't gave the developers your thoughts on how you felt about the beta, please do so. I'll put a link in the description below. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.